great reaction is mature audience is only like, so if you can't stand the heat, stay away from the fire. What's up, Raider Nation? I am the Commish, coming to you live, as always, from Hardcore Channel's Live Studios. And just where is that, might you ask? Well, let me give you some simple directions. In case it's been a minute, you know, it's a little late in the evening. Shit, any number of excuses, reasons, what have you. Well, it's just down the street. Past the house with the boarded up windows. Make sure you stop at the corner. Ask my man Joe. He's a gentleman. He's a scholar. He's a Raiders fan, as well as a man of commerce. So if you slip him what you should, he's gonna point you in the right direction. He's gonna tell you to take a left, and then a right. And as you find yourself strolling down the street, minding your own damn business, you're gonna pass a deep, dark alley to your immediate right. As you pass that alley, a cool breeze is going to hit you that chills you right to your skeletal core. And you find yourself asking, Was that the autumn wind? You goddamn right. Should have ventured down that deep dark alley. Well, of course you should. Because what you're going to find at the end is a special little place that we like to call. Deep behind the enemy line. This is Raider Reaction. And as it is every Tuesday, it's time to spend a solid 60 minutes with yours truly as we touch on everything silver and black in a little show that we like to call the Raider Nation report and no I don't have a fancy suit so or, or any of that I just show up as myself <laughs> well he did have the chance of a lifetime Elaine and he blew it blew it it's unfortunate about uh, you know I didn't think I would still be mentioning him on Tuesday, days after his uh, days after his Raider death. But Chris Warren the third, 
you know, I enjoyed saying his name over the past season or so, but other than that, he, he's he's been just a topic of conversation. And an interesting one. An interesting one. That nonetheless, it, it built on all hype, pipe dreams, and and hope. And that that notorious P word that gets everybody in poten- in trouble. Potential. It's such potential. Such potential. Yeah, I seen that jukebox. Uh, yeah, Donald Penn. Um, man, you, you, how many times is that piece of trash going to get set on the curb and get picked up by somebody else? Listen, that was trash, not recycling. Trash. When we set that out there, that was for the trash, not for recycling. Please don't dig through that. That was to go to the landfill, not to be recycled. But... Hey, I'll, I'll, you want to stick that guy out there on the left tackle to cover the blind side of your quarterback, Washington? You go right ahead. You go right ahead. I, you go right ahead. What's up, Leslie? What's up, Raiders? Sleeve? What's up? Jukebox lines. Everybody, thank you for joining me on a, a Monday Raider Nation report. And of course, you, Russ. All you rocking the top fans, some of you need to get that. I mean, you need to be interacting a little more on the page because those aren't given, those are earned. So if you got them, you earned them. What's up, KD? So thank you all for joining me. It's, it's, it's a time of excitement and hype if, if you are a Raider fan right now, man. It's, it's training camp. You, you can turn on NFL Network and, you know, the, the, it's, it's Raiders all over. It's... It's it's a beautiful time, man. It's a beautiful time. If like I said before, and I've said it on the show here numerous times over the past couple of weeks, man. If if you can't be excited as a fan right now in July, you're not a fan of this team. You're you're not of any fucking team. If you don't have a little bit of optimism in your off season, I mean, this is when you're hoping you can catch lightning in a bottle that you've put the right pieces together to, to all of the right ingredients. This is this is when you should have all of that hope. If you don't have it now, when are you gonna have it? Everybody's zero and zero. Somebody makes the playoffs every season that wasn't in there last year every year so if you can't be excited right now when are you going to be excited you've seen a complete overhaul there's no if you bitched about anything last year on this team it's been addressed on either side of the ball so any complaint that you had it, it did not fall on deaf ears it's been addressed well i mean what was your issue offensive line addressed wide receivers addressed uh, you want fresh legs at running back? Got them. Linebacking core shit. Got you some veterans. Got you some young guys. Got you some, you know, even some veterans with a lot of tread on the tire. Corners. We're healthy. Plus, we went and got you some uh, youth as well. Up front. All kinds of help up front. All kinds. So, it's it's an interesting time, <sighs> and safety, Abram, man, he's a uh, that guy gets you excited. That guy gets you excited. He's he's a little throwback, man. You stick him back there with Carl Joseph, Lamarcus Joyner mixed in as well. I'm telling you. It's, it's a much improved, much improved, much improved. Hey, if you're watching the show, share it up. Hit that share button, Raider Nation. Hit that share button. I'll tell you what, man. Just just for shits and giggles, for the, the, the fuck of it tonight, just because I, I feel, I'm feeling generous. I've got, I got a little, uh, little quick gift pack I'm going to give away. It's a fuck everything and become a pirate sticker, which everybody should have. A nice little uh, Keelan Doss. Rookie card. I pulled them out. Uh, pulled three out, and th- this is the one duplicate that I had. 
out of the uh, box openings that I and the card busting I did on Sunday, and then a nice exterior grade vinyl logo sticker. If you're here and you're staying till the end of the show, whoever whoever I deem has the comment of the show. And I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I was deciding how I was going to give this away. And I don't know. <laughs> I'll know when I see it. The comment of the show tonight, before the WTF, I'm going to give this away to one viewer. So you got to hang around to the end if you want to get, if you want to get your hands on it. But hey, man, tonight you never know. You never know. I'll be at the home opener too, Daniel. I will see you there, my man. I'll be in the black hole with my son. Miss Jr. and I will be out there at the, in attendance as well. So I hope to see you all there. <laughs> Lines. So fuck swinging for the fences, my man. Swinging for the fences. I don't know. I don't know if that was savage or I'm not sure. It was it was it was What? What? It's interesting. And I want to know how you know this is is would would be the the appropriate question lines but uh i digress and we'll get to that later um so we, we got into the biggest news of the weekend last year and or last year last night with big l absolutely i'm, I'm all for it um and we got it. We've digested that, and we've moved on. Elaine brought it up. Chris Warren the third. He's still choked up about him. He's he has he hasn't gotten over it yet. He, he's he's start he's starting to to part, and eh, it is what it is. So looking at the running back situation, it's it's an interesting it's interesting because now Chris Warren the third, who's this, this hype machine for the last year. Is, is gone now. So now you got to look back at reality. Now, all, you've, all, everybody's had these crazy pipe dreams for the last 12 months about Chris Warren the third. People were calling him Baby Bo and shit just because he wore the same fucking number. Like, come on, man. Comparing anybody to Bo Jackson is like fucking sacrilege. The guy, the guy was, you know, chiseled out of fucking granite and was born that way. That it, it, he was a, he was a he was a special kind of human being that they only make once in generations Just to compare him to that ah no way so now that he's gone and now you've got all of that Disney pipe dream shit out of your head when you're looking at our running back situation now you're back to reality where you've got Josh Jacobs you're, you're solid not not he's he's had a lot of experience. But he's not had so much experience where he's run it into the ground. So I, I'm interested to see what that kid gets when he gets a lot of carries. I think Jalen Richard earns your number two spot. Unless he completely falls on his face, which I don't expect. I think he earns your number two spot coming into um, this season. Now, number three, I do not believe in my heart's heart that it's going to be Doug Martin. I, I, I can't believe it. In my heart's heart, I can't believe it's, uh, it's going to be Doug Martin. I believe Doug Martin will hit the freaking chopping block before we get to the 53-man roster. I don't think DeAndre Washington makes the roster either. James Butler is interesting. James Butler has had not a ton of experience. He had a limited action as a senior at Iowa. Um, he played in Nevada before that, which he did have some success. But Washington should be worried. He should be damn worried because he's he's about to have to find uh, you know start moving and you know packing up and looking in a new zip code because that's the strange thing the the it, when you're a a guy a little further further down the pecking order in the nfl man you never know when you're gonna have to fucking pack up and leave shop and you can be sent anywhere your ass could be all of a sudden in detroit like fuck what i do got exiled man that's like sent to fucking nfl purgatory you don't want to go there so you know 
God's sakes, go to fucking Buffalo. Who the fuck? Nobody wants to live there. It's too fucking cold. You'd be like, fucking Buffalo? And trade to Buffalo? Jesus Christ. How the fuck did that happen? So you look at the running backs. Which I believe, man, I believe Doug Martin is gone. DeAndre Washington is gone. And we see a veteran come in before camp is over. Or excuse me, not before camp. So before season started, somewhere around the end of camp, when guys are starting to cut down to get to the 53-man roster, there's going to be a lot of decent talent out there. And when you're just looking for a number three running back, not a number one, not a number two, just a number three, I think you can find him. I think you can find him on the cheap. You can find a decent veteran. And, God, hopefully somebody that comes in with a little more staying power than we've tried it here over the past several seasons. Maurice Jones-Drew tried to bring in Isaiah Crowell, who, who had the fucking injury bug forever. But you bring him in on a one-year deal and you figure, eh, you know, the guy's looking to, you know, he's looking to get paid. You know, you hope he comes in and, meow. You see how that fucking went? That crashed and burned, man. That didn't work out at all. Westbrooks. Kevin brought it up, and I was just getting ready to jump to him. Ethan Westbrooks. Does he count the end of Eddie Vanderdose? Like, although I like that Vander didn't. He has Vander done nothing. Vander done shit. <laughs> He's been nothing but Vander injured the entire time. Westbrooks is quality depth. Well... Let's look at Mr. Westbrooks, shall we, Russ? Let's look at Mr. Westbrooks and what he brings. Mr. Westbrooks brings five years of NFL experience where he has started a total of 11 games. So he was good enough to start over five seasons, only 11 games. Last year, on a uh, Super Bowl team, he started none. He has, uh, he does have 26 quarterback hits, 53 solo tackles over that time, but I guess he, he, he's depth, like really deep depth, like I'm holding down the end of the bench depth, like he ain't gonna get in depth. <laughs> Like, hey, we need somebody to be on the third string. Uh, you know, go chase around Peterman. That depth. That's that guy. So, to get excited about him, nah. I, I'm not getting excited about him. <laughs> I'm not getting excited about him at all. So, we will see. We will see. But uh, we, we did scrap a couple guys um, in the process of picking him up, Eric Swope and Ronald Ollie, also both guys at the uh, <laughs> at the end of the depth chart for their position. So not not a huge loss. <laughs> like a, like a young Roy Clark. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So. We've talked on running backs, and I want to touch on another position that somewhat concerned me just because of what's happened, and I, and I, I think the, the style that we're going to this season is going to dictate the use of a little more a fullback. And really right now, we've got two fullbacks on roster. Smith is out. He's out possibly for a couple months with, with knee injury. And you're looking at Ingold, uh, Alex Ingold, and he's the only really serviceable fullback that we have on roster right now. He's a rookie, uh, four full years at Wisconsin. He, he's got decent stats for a fullback, I guess. He's supposedly a solid blocker. We're going to find out because it looks like he has the possibility to take control of this position. So we will see. We will see. Like I said, man, a little quick contest tonight. I got a rookie card and a couple stickers. You're going to throw up for the comment of the night. I have no idea who that is, but uh, <laughs> oh, harsh, harsh.
But uh, comment of the night. Comment of the night. They should dust off Marcel Reese, man. Marcel Reese can still play, dude. I don't know what it's called, but that crazy volleyball game where they like throw the medicine balls over the fucking... The dude is in insane shape and can go out there and still truck half the fucking linebackers in this league. I would love to see Marcel Reese back out there at uh, fucking fullback. 100%. I, I, think, I think he would... Uh, he'd be strong, man. He'd be strong. And comment of the night, we'll call it right... No, it will not come. It will not be moldy or in a Ziploc. No. Anything, I'm going to send you in a Ziploc. That shit ain't going to be moldy. Oh, no. Yep, sorry. <laughs> Marcel is coaching now. He's on the, uh, he, he's involved, and he's on the coaching staff. Marcel's awesome, man. A true Raider. I mean, he, even when he left... He left as a true Raider, and it was a, uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. He came back, retired Raider with the whole, you know, one-day signing thing, but, ah, man, that's a guy that just should have wrote it out in the silver and black. It was, it was a bummer, because he, cause he was there when things were starting to turn, and the new, you know, he was there for the beginning of D.C., and it would have been nice for him to uh been able to uh seen some of it, but, uh, eh, eh. We'll see. We'll see. So, interesting. But, yes, that was the big signing today. Every time there's a signing, it was the Raiders sign. So, everybody gets all excited. Everybody gets all excited. So, Ethan Westbrooks, he's your big signing. Low depth chart. Defensive line. Don't get too excited. Um, don't get too excited. So, training camp has been interesting. Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen one of... The videos that popped up today uh, from training camp, which was uh, Mad Max being made to look a little more, a little more like a rookie. Um, you know, some of the tape that popped up yesterday were, were making him look like a look like a beast. And well, you seen him going up against Trent Brown today, and you see why Trent Brown is one of the uh, was was one of the highest paid linemen signed over the offseason, or the highest paid linemen signed over the offseason. And that's because he absolutely was stonewalling uh, Mad Max and drills today. It shows why this guy's going to be an anchor whichever end of the line they put him on. Colton Miller so far through two days of pads has looked really, really good. And, I, hey, man, I'm hoping he he makes me a believer. Because I wasn't a believer out of uh, what I seen last year. I know he was injured. But everybody plays injured. So... Of course, left tackle is a difficult position to play injured with the kind of injury that he had. I understand all that, but still, I've seen a lot of, of him getting burned around the edge, and I questioned whether he could handle the NFL speed. Yes, we lost Chris Warren the turd. <laughs> he's Chris Warren the turd now, because you know he's 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 gone. He's been flushed. Out of here! <laughs> out of here! Out of here! Out of here! So, there's man. The the one thing I've noticed about training camp this season is the is the insane amount of coverage that you're gonna see. And I'm sure everybody has seen the tape. Uh, we we even put up the hype reel, um, the video from training camp of Antonio Brown. And just what it what it's like to have a true number one wide receiver at training camp, challenging, challenging your defensive backs like nobody will, challenging. So we need to go steal Zeke. Ah, we don't need Zeke. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Jerry Jones even comes out and says we don't even need Zeke to win a Super Bowl. He, he's, he's throwing him on the fire. Did you see that? Jerry Jones has already fucking tossed that log on the fire. And he's like, you fucking Ewok looking motherfucker. We don't need you. Don't you challenge me. Don't you step up against the Jer, man. <laughs> He'll be like, motherfucker. Shit. I pay strippers more than I pay you. I'll step on your career. <laughs> 
Dude, that, that dude throws money around like it's nothing. He has no problem with fucking putting Zeke down. But I, I would assume they're going to cave and pay that guy. Uh, it's, hard, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to not, not see that's going to happen. You would think they had their little fucking threesome going on there, but uh, maybe not. Who knows? I don't want Zeke. That's just too much money right there. For what? I don't think we need that. I think we can get what we need to be successful out of Josh Jacobs. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, common to the night, man. Common to the night. Got a Keelan Doss rookie card. Couple stickers. Nice exterior grade. Take a grad. Fuck everything and become a pirate. We're common of the night. Common of the night. Man, we've got some. Uh, we got some lead dogs out there. Uh. I'd say Daniel's up there. Daniel had one earlier. Russ had one. I mean, line set the mark right out of the gate. I mean, he, he, he set he set the bar pretty high. So you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have to step it up a little bit. Step it up a little bit. And you gotta hang around to the end. Right before the WTF, I'll announce a winner. Repping in Colorado, Andrew, right on. What's up? And thank you, everybody, for joining me, as always. Leslie and all, all the rest of you, Nancy, everybody else. Thank you all for joining us. I appreciate any time you guys spend with us here, repping and discussing what we all love, and that is the silver and black. We appreciate any time you spend with us here, and even the ones of you that still conjure up Steve will juice every goddamn time you come in. I've, I've put that power in your hands, and... You, you don't, you don't seem to respect the dark forces, but it's all right. I kind of like you for that, but, you know, still, it's annoying. I get chased a little bastard around the whole time. And, you know, I've, I've got better things to do, like, you know, stab my fucking new voodoo doll. <laughs> What's up, Brian? What's up, Idaho in the house? I need Raider Tat ideas. Well, hmm. I need to get me a new Raider Tat. To get me a Raider reaction tat next. That's what I'm gonna get. Yes, I am. I just don't know where yet. Cause I'm running out of space on my skin. <laughs> Josh Jacobs is going to be a dog this season. He will be a dog this season. I I 100% agree. But fullback in front of him. Back to I mean, it's a concern when you've only got one fullback on roster and the guy's a rookie. Then the other guy, eh. I, I was I didn't see anything that made me get excited about Smith last year, so we'll see. We'll see. It's 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 a position of concern when you've only got one healthy guy on roster. That's a position of concern. Just saying. Just saying. So, um, Moving on, moving on, moving on. Wide receivers. I would say the big question of wide receivers, who's going to be your three? Yes. I did hear that Tyreek Hill bruised his kid named Quad today. <laughs> and could Car Karma, man, Karma showed up, but Karma missed just a little bit because that, that's not enough of a hit to, uh, that's not enough of a hit to take him out. Unfortunately, it, it, it's gonna slow him down a little bit. And it could be one of those that uh... no. he injured his quad lines, and you know he had the joke is he has a kid named Quad. You know, the jokes kind of lose their punch when we gotta explain them to you. So, you know, try to keep up. Um, But yes, it, it would have been nice to see maybe if uh, Karma would have really come down and smacked him with something a little more, with a little more longevity. A little more longevity. So, but I, I like the fact, got a little, got a little ding in that tire. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, you got Madden 20, is Madden 20 out already? I think you can get like, aren't, don't they have like, uh, 
you can get like trial period for it or maybe if you can get the pre-order I haven't played it yet I hope the gameplay is better than 19 I thought 19 was a huge step down from 18 um, I, I, I thought the, I thought the way they changed the gameplay and I, bl I blame that for the reason that I sucked and played like complete ass in this year's offseason Madden tournament so I'm blaming it and, and I'm, I'm hoping for a little more uh, a little improvement in Madden 20 and it's gonna help my gameplay yeah that's what I'm going with because uh, the Madden offseason season 2 that kicks off in February oh yeah I'm, I'm all over it <laughs> I will I will bring I will bring uh, honor back to the Raiders in the digital world again I, I, I somewhat soiled their name in, in our league last season and man I was fucking terrible Ah, oh, it's a special edition. Well, what the fuck is... What's that? <laughs> Man, I'm too busy to stay up on this shit. I used to be all up on that shit when I was younger. My son probably knows, but I don't know. Shit. Comment of the night tonight. We got a little freaking... Uh, we got a Keelan Doss rookie card. A couple stickers. Tag if you ride. Nice big logo sticker. These things are nice quality, man. They, uh, they do not fail out in the uh, blistering sun, because trust me, I'm in more extreme conditions than any of you guys live, and they've hang, hung out just fine for a long period of time. So, comment of the night. Comment of the night. I have no idea what that is, but uh, when I see it, I'll know it. I've, I've, gave, I've given a couple honorable mentions thus far, but really nobody's hit it out of the park yet. So, you know, I guess I need to step it up. It can't be some big long comment because then it's, you know, I gotta see more and I ain't got time to see more. You gotta fucking hit it with some juice. Sticker would look good on the back of my truck. I like it. I like it. See, Jamie is playing to my, uh, my simple practical nature of advertising. <laughs> I like it. Hell yeah. Well, these are made by a damn quality company, man. Uh, damn quality company. So, uh, who is Bo Jackson? Who is Billy James? I believe it's related to the James brothers. We've went into this before. Hmm. We don't have time for that today. Um, <laughs> even better on my caddy. Rolling next to my daddy. Um, so, Thursday, two nights away. I know it's not, it's not anything you get excited about. You got the shitbirds, your fucking kitty dweller, table dwellers, playing the, the donks. It's not anything to get excited about. But, it is live football. It's the official kickoff of the 2019 season where you see actual football players on a football field actually hitting each other on an opposing team. That's about as close to football as you can get. It's about as close. So, we will see. Ah, it would look good in El Paso, Texas, deep behind the enemy lines. Hmm. He was a stealer. Did you... Did, did, oh, man. You give me after... See, I'm like a fucking cat, man. You guys throw these little comments up and it sends my brain off on this tangent. Did anybody happen to see... I posted it to the page the other yesterday or the day before. But the, uh, the video that Antonio Brown posted to all of his social media and his YouTube page um, about the... What drove the final breakup between him and Big Ben in Pittsburgh. Man, that was some fucking goddamn, like, Dateline-like shit. It, it was almost, like, ten minutes long, and it went in and broke down everything, and, like, good lord. Big Ben is a, he's a fucking, beyond, besides being a basically, you know, a serial date raper, he, he's, he's pretty much an egotistical asshole. And it's it's no reason nobody wants to play with the douchebag anymore. It's unfortunate that he's got a couple rings and he's going to retire with them.
because uh, it's just unfortunate because a sleaze ball like that should never have any uh, any success. Really? Well, yeah. What did you think of it, Russ? I, th I thought it was an interesting watch. Um, it started out kind of like yeah, the first half. I had to I had to choke through it, but oh, it was way oh fuck overproduced because it was made by his production company. <laughs> it was totally totally slanted, but uh, uh, you know. I've I'd heard that a lot, you know, and you'd seen that uh, Roethlisberger was highly overcritical of, of pretty much everybody, and eh, we'll see, we'll see. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, because adding him in, it's just you, you've already seen it, man. You you see the dynamic that he adds in camp. Just having Antonio Brown there, we haven't had a true number one wide receiver that brings the fucking riding in in a hot air balloon and, you know, wearing fur and he's just, you just haven't seen that. You just haven't seen that. So we haven't had that for a while in-house, that, that type of guy that, that's had that type of swagger. I mean, have we ever really had a guy? I mean, of course, we had Tim Brown, we've had Jerry Rice, but those guys didn't come in with that... They weren't that flashy, flamboyant fucking... They didn't have that flair. They, they weren't that type of guy, you know? Antonio Brown's a different... He's the new breed wide receiver. He, he's, the, he's the flash, the divas type wide receiver. He's that different style. He's not that old throwback style. So, it's... Uh, eh. It's going to be interesting to, uh, to see how he... Uh, see how he pops in and and see how it uh, works out for him. Mixing in. it's I mean, what you've seen already is, you know, and, and the clips at a training camp, I mean, it looks good. I mean, but the training camp clips. And I... And I, I the training camp clips. And I, I grade those on a curve a little bit. You know, I, I, I've seen, you know, training camp clips to make you ooh and ah from, you know, all over the league. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's been a while, Damien. It's been a while since we've had a some guys like that. It's it it kind of takes you back to the more throwback days where where they you know the guy rolls in in a hot air balloon and the you know the management and the coaches are kind of like yeah it's just a b, and that's the way it should be, man. That's just the way it should be, and that's the way it was back in the day. That was just Lyle, or you know that was Jack. That was the snake. That was just you know that was just the way they were, you know and. That it's a great thing that it seems like the Raiders are allowing these guys to have a personality again. And, and you need that in professional sports, man. That, that you need that. that it, it should be. It's an exciting fucking thing. It's an exciting thing to score a touchdown in the NFL. It's an exciting thing. It's at the pinnacle of your profession. You should be able to dance do a fucking jig. Do whatever the fuck you want. You want to do the worm? Do it. And I'm glad they're letting them do that now. And and they're letting the, these guys have a personality. Because when it comes down to it, ladies and gentlemen, this is entertainment. Yes, it's a sport. But it's entertainment and that's why we watch it. And the more entertainment that you can put into the product without it hurting anybody. Because that doesn't hurt anybody. I know you can do the worm. That's what I heard. Um, then, then what's wrong with that? Then what's wrong with that? Is the O-line that good or the D-line that bad? The D-line, I think, is you're going to have a lot of hype on the D-line this year. For number one reason, you know, your number four pick, your... Uh, for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. The, there's been a lot of people added. There were a lot of people added last year. And we know that's a position of need. We know that's a... There was obviously the number of sacks last season. We know all of that. So, mm, 
we know all of that, so... It's gonna be interesting. It's just... There's, there's so many dynamics, man. There really, there really is. It's... It's, I'm just, it's so close to time to start being real. So, yes, I, the, the youth of the defensive line, I, I think our offense, if you had to put, it, put them up against each other, I would say our offensive line definitely has an edge over our defensive line. But I'm still, the one position of concern I have is left guard. Now you're just trying to pull on my heartstrings, Jukebox. <laughs> you're trying to play close to my heart now. Um, left guard, man. Left, left guard's a concern for me. Because now we're looking at the, 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 basically the scab, the plug that we brought in to, just to fill a hole in the dike for um, Incognito being out. Then we got Good that goes out for probably two months. And now you're looking at. Now you're looking at having the guy that you brought in to just be at the end of the depth chart, basically, at that position, is now going to start your first two divisional games. That's concerning. Jamie, if you want a sticker, www.radioreaction.com. Just uh, go to the website. And uh, click on the shop tab. We've got everything a la carte for sale up on there as well. We also got Raider Reaction fan packs where you can uh, get you get you a, a fan pack that's got a whole bunch of shit in a box. And it's your best deal. So uh, please go check out the website. All of you go check out the website. Get you some Raider Reaction gear. I I've got a front runner already for my comment of the night. Got my sticker upside down there. Fuck everything and become a pirate sticker. Got a Keelan Doss rookie card. And a nice big six inch Raider Reaction sticker to tag up your ride with. The baby's palm size. It's a nice size sticker. The high quality exterior vinyl, baby. That thing will rock it. Rock it, rock it. Yes, we've got, uh, we've got all the stickers up on the website. You can even get yourself a fuck everything and become a pirate sticker. I tell you what, anybody that buys anything over the website over the next week, I don't care what the fuck it is. I'll throw in a... Uh, I'm going to throw in a fuck everything and become a pirate sticker and one of the big stickers. Even if you buy one of the big stickers, I'll throw in an extra one. So anybody that buys anything here over the next freaking seven days till I do the show again on Tuesday, I'll, uh, I'll throw in a couple free stickers for anybody that wants to jump in on it. I don't give a shit. I'm in a good giving mood. It's training camp. <laughs> We're all excited, man. Football is here again. Even if it's the fucking goddamn shitbirds and the donkeys. Football is here again this week. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. That would go great on my wheelchair. Man. I hope that's a joke, bro. <laughs> if it's not, then damn. It's unfortunate. Either way, it would look good on your wheelchair. <laughs> Don't do that to me. I've already got played one one. <laughs> Put me on blast like that, Sky. Come on. Should have kept John Feliciano for depth. I'm hey, I, that's not a terrible man. I'm concerned at left guard, man. It is it is a concerning position when you've got a, a second year guy right there. <laughs> All right. Well. God damn. See? I always know when there's going to be a comment of the night. I had no idea what it was going to be. And... <laughs> Sky, you win. You're the winner of our... Uh, and please, rock it proudly. And put the fuck everything and become a pirate stick right at the front so everybody can see it. Okay? That's all I ask. So that everybody knows right at right out of the gate when you when when they meet you. That they, they, they know they know exactly where you stand. You win, my man. Um, go to the Raider Reaction page. 
if you would, on the Raider Action Facebook page and just send a, send your information, uh, message the page, and uh, we will... You should, my man. It, it doesn't matter. And, you know, handicap my ass. Everybody's handy. You're handy capable, man. It, it, shit. There's, there's not... Everybody's got a limitation of some kind. It's powering through everything, man. It's... No. Any, any day above ground, it's your fucking heart still beating in your chest is a good day. Period. So, hey. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for thanks for hanging. As always, thanks for stopping in, and uh, we got you, hopefully, one of the next great Raider wide receivers rookie cards here. Well, no, man. We'll see. He's got a lot of hype in uh, training camp, and uh, you can tag up. Whatever you want to tag up, got a couple stickers for you. But send your uh, info over to the page, Sky, and uh, we will get that out to you, my man. Thank you for uh, watching. And thank you all. I'm, I'm going to be doing, uh, I've, I pulled up some other things. I'm going to be throwing out some little little goodies over, over the next uh, ne next several shows that, that I'm doing. So uh, make sure you, you know, just keep watching. Like Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. And hanging and talking Raider football. And... Yeah, that's right. Jukebox is one of the most positive people I know, man. And uh, you, that's what I'm saying. And any day above ground is a good day. Any day, your heart's still beating in your chest, and you still get to be a Raider fan and pump silver and blood, black blood. It's a beautiful day. Sky. Raider Reaction, my man, right across the bottom. Raider Reaction. You gotta go like the page, follow the page. Sky, I don't know how you found us tonight. But, <laughs> but I'm glad you did, my man. Ryan Trucheau. I know you are, Ryan. Thank you for joining. Should we stab the voodoo doll one more time tonight? I did like I did I did think Eddie Vander doesn't was a good one. Vender doesn't, Vender didn't, Vender wasn't. I agree, but like I said, I don't have a patch yet, although I am in the works to get this made into a patch. Because yes, I think patches would be cool to have as well. But I do have buttons, I do got big big bumper stickers, I just put one on the front top of my windshield tonight on my ride. Nice big uh, bumper stickers, so if you want to get one of those, I mean these suckers are it's a full 12 inches baby. So you can get one of those, slap that on your bumper sticker, bam, slap that right on your ass, and uh, everybody will know what's up. Or you can do like my man the Big L did, and he did the rear window combo like like that, and straight pimping. So whatever, whatever you got to do, go get it. Oh well, I'm glad we can cheer you up, my man. I'll tell you what, Sky. Since you had a bad day, brother, we we already hooked you up with something. I'll give you one. I'll give you one last little thing. Where, where would you like? Where, where should we stick? Skewer. We, we've already went for the heart of our little Mahomes voodoo doll. We've also went in his Achilles. Left Achilles. Where should we go next? Where should we stick him next? In the... <laughs> you're so... You're so vicious. Straight in the quad. <laughs> oh, Tamari. Tamari, I had you in the run-in, man, because you came out with the uh, <laughs> with the quad comment. You're the first one to go with it, so I had you in the run-in, man. But the sky blue, you know, it, hey, this is what it is. Where should we go next? The throwing arm, the eye. Oh, little Patrick Mahomeless. There will be no MVP this year oh hmm 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 
man. So many good choices. So many good choices. The ear, the brains, the eye, the head. <laughs> oh, but I don't know, man. I think we should start brutal. <laughs> and we're, we're going for the we're going for the nether regions. And I'm sorry, little Mr. Mahomeless. <sighs> that one's gonna hurt. That one's gonna hurt. It's gonna be a long season. It's gonna be a long season. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I enjoyed every little every second of it. I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> I enjoyed every second. So Instagram. You should be following us on Instagram. You should be following us on Twitter. I'm getting the hang of this Twitter thing. I can like tweet at people like like people that I probably shouldn't be tweeting at. And man, they even respond back and shit. It's so I'm getting the hang of that. And when season comes around, I'm, I'm gonna be a little mischievous on Twitter. I got a feeling, probably gonna get myself in trouble. So you should probably come follow me over there because, yeah, I've already been tweeting with uh, DC's older brother, um, Amy Trask, the Princess of Darkness. Uh, other people have been tweeting. We're, we're 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 tapping into the Twitter world slowly. But uh, I think I'm getting that shit figured out a little bit. Uh, but we're also on Instagram as well. And follow us on, uh, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Commission Jr. is about ready to take over the fucking YouTube channel with uh, some insane live streaming. Uh, when the new Madden comes out, he's going to be fucking all over it. He's going to be streaming like crazy on there. And uh, we've also got some, we got some college football game day Saturday action coming up. Probably starting this Saturday. Uh, me and the commission, the commission junior, will be breaking it down. Some old school college football action, and uh, you guys can uh, tune in and uh, you know place wagers on on Saturday night. So you got kicked, you got kicked off of what? Of Twitter, Russ. You know, it's not that kind of site where you can you know you can't send that stuff, Russ, to just everybody. You know, it's not that kind of site. <laughs> but follow us over on Twitter at Raider Reaction. We're at was it Raider underscore Reaction eighty one, I think, on Instagram. But you know, somebody say joint. Uh, um, Damn. <laughs> somebody say purple drink. Purple drink. Yeah, he thought he was on Tinder, man. There you go. I don't know about no Tinder. You know, I've been married too goddamn long. If I knew anything about Tinder, I'd be single. Then I'd have to worry about Tinder. And I don't want to have to worry about Tinder. <laughs> so, I like to finish every one of my solo shows with a little thing <laughs> that I like to call the WTF. And tonight, I wanted to broach those of you and some of man some of you may even be guilty of being these type of people the the overexcited training camp people the overexcited preseason fan the the every time somebody makes a fucking catch with one hand they you know like listen man mad max yesterday but clips you wouldn't see he looked like lawrence taylor the next greatest thing since sliced bread since the wheel and then you see today where he gets stonewalled against a real quality NFL veteran tackle. It, the thing is, is training camp now, it, it's a social media darling, man. If, if you're out there, anybody that's got a phone now has a high def video camera in their hand, high def mic, that you, you can get footage, you can, of anything. So, so 
this it's sensory overload for the amount of information uh, video audio that we get now from training camp see you gotta curb the enthusiasm on that shit a little bit yeah it's great and I, I'm sharing the fuck out of it too because it's what everybody wants to see but you can't get too excited about a catch and a drill when it's just a wide receiver going against a fucking D-back you know it, it, it's a drill it's practice in the famous words of Allen Iverson, one of my all-time favorite NBA stars. Practice. We're talking about practice. Let's not get excited here. It's practice. They're supposed to look good. It's motherfucking practice. If they don't look good in practice, how'd they get the fucking job? Of course they look good in practice. If they didn't look good in practice, you know what they'd be? Unemployed. So, don't get too excited. Not every guy that does something in practice, a la Chris Warren the Tud, is not going to be the next fucking Bo Jackson. Okay? So let's not get excited. Let's not cry over losing him. And please. What the fuck? Overexcited training camp, guys. They're all over the page right now in the group. Oh my god. And they're everywhere on social media. Just like, this guy, this guy's going to be it, this guy's going to be it. Well, i just like to put it out there and let you decide if this guy's going to be the next it. Because, frankly, a, uh, yes, LaMarcus Joyner and, and A.B. said that as well. He said he got the only guy that got him was L.J. And those two are going to be going at it, man. Those two are going to be going at it. It's going to be interesting. It is going to be very interesting. It's, like I said, it's the first time in a long time you've had a number one, a true number one, top of the heap, wide receiver in your ranks. And with a quarterback, you can get him the ball. You can make things happen. That's really going to challenge your defensive backs all training camp. And that's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting and very, very exciting. It's an exciting time to be a fan. If you can't be excited right now, then you aren't a fan. If you can't be excited about the Raiders right now, you're not a fan. You're just not. How you couldn't be excited? Sky, make sure you message your information to the Raider Reaction Facebook page. Like the page, share the page, follow the page. We're going to be streaming everything for you on our pirate pages all season long. You just got to follow us to get the links to the pirate pages every week before the shows are up. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Prime is back with me via split screen from Prime Studios for another edition of Ghost of the Post as we drop back deep in the pocket, let it fly league-wide. We'll be right here live, same Raider time, same Raider channel tomorrow night. Thank you all, as always, for joining me. Sky, congratulations. Send us your information so that we can uh, get this out to you. I'm gonna be giving away some uh, little flash prizes over the next couple weeks through training camp. So make sure you uh, stick around, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I've got some big news coming. Are you a fantasy football fan? Oh, I know some of you are. I got the name the commission for a reason. For those of you who have always wanted to get in one of my fantasy leagues. I may just have one opening up for all Raider fans. Hardcore Challenge Raider Reaction League? What? More info coming soon. I'm out. Peace, love, Raider Nation!